y'all doing? Today I'm going to be uh, showing you how to use a product from iGrill. You've seen me uh, in the past, I've used that thermometer I used, the, the original iGrill. Well now they've come out with this, the iGrill 2. It'll be available, it should be available toward the end of this month. You saw me get in the package, um, I guess a few weeks ago. We've been doing some testing with it, the barbecue pits. I sent on some, uh, so some competition cups with some buddies of mine. Let them see how they liked it and everything. Let me show you how it's used, okay? Just a quick demo tonight. Uh, we're just gonna cook this whole chicken here in the oven. By the way, I got this chicken uh, rubbed down with some slippery chicken barbecue rub, chipotle rub, mango chipotle. I'm sorry, slippery chicken mango chipotle. Anyway, just talk. But let's get started with the eye grill. Two. So we've got our device here. I've got one of the plugs, so you can put up to four different probes in. I've just got one probe hooked up here tonight for the simplicity factor of it. Let me zoom in here a little bit on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, first we're gonna do, we're gonna turn it on. Let's punch that button. Then, uh, previously, what you need to do, you need to have your app, this iDevices app right here, installed on your iPhone. Uh, this this app you're going to use. I'm sorry, my finger was in the way. But you want to push that app. You want to start that app up here. So we've got that app going. Registration. Hope you can see here. Move back a little bit. All right, what we want to do on the iPhone? You want to start the iDevices app right here. Now you'll see this pop up. See, it says connected devices. And you'll see, oh, you want to turn your Bluetooth on on your phone. Be sure to do that. Uh, click on this iGrill 2 on this air right here. Okay, now it's going to say no probes connected. Basically, what it's going to do is it's just looking, for, searching for the probe. Now you want to open your app and it's going to ask you Bluetooth pairing requests. You want to pair, register, remind me later. And now it's going to tell you the temperature of your probe 1. And you'll see I've inserted the probe one over here in the breast of the chicken. Okay, so we've got probe one here in the back, or in, in the first slot on the grill thermometer. And then I've got it over here in the deepest part of the breast of the chicken, okay? The hardest part about this is just going to get your Bluetooth paired up with your device the first time for me and that can be you know, just might have to turn it off and turn it back on again or something and until you get it paired up or refer to your instructions it's not that hard once you get it paired you won't you won't have to do it again um, just like you do with any other bluetooth thing now what we're going to do is we're going to set preset okay. touch that over here all right now you see you've got all these different presets on here so what i want to select here fish pork uh, lamb poultry chicken we're going to get this guy to 165, so I'm going to select the preset, so it's going to know the alarm's going to go off at 165. So let's put this dude in the oven, and we'll stick the, the eye grill over here on the side, and I'll show you. Okay, so we just stick the uh, stick the bird in the oven, put the, little control, the eye grill display case, it sticks right here on the side, it's got a little magnet thing. Alright, so we'll just stick it right here, and we'll just let it chill out for a while. And um, that's just not sticking very well on my, my little surface set right there. Anyway, so um, just let that chill while we watch our temperature over here on the iPhone. We can go run around the yard or whatever. So anyway, like I said, we're sitting here looking at air temperature. I just want to kind of look at some of the other features here. We'll hit more. Uh, you know, it's got recipes, globe. That's where you can kind of check in and stuff like that. Timers, all sort of kind of stuff. And it's just really neat. So we can click back here at our chicken, see it shows us other things. Um, it shows, you know, you can set your peak presets if you want alarm to go off or anything like that. It's really, really neat. Okay, so there's probe one. If we have probe two, three, and four, it lists all those right down there for us. Okay, so also now we're 120. What we can look at here is we press this number one, we turn it, press that again, and it'll tell us the color indicator of the probe, okay, probe name, all that sort of stuff. All right, we don't want to change that, hit cancel, but we'll press the whole whole chart. Let's see, I'm trying to see how to do this here. Okay, the whole chart, as you can see, it's going to show us 
the t how the temperature is risen and the different the time down here so it gives you a chart view that's really neat I thought that was cool too and we so say you can change your your probe indicator colors and stuff like that and just cancel out of that press the one again 120 press that again see keep going see you can see this display so you can do all sorts of things you can go um, go in here and change you know whatever you want to you can also press over here where the target temperature is and let's so press that again see it shows all the uh, the beef and chicken and everything and that's the peak if we press range it's going to show you know here you're know, smoking in this range hot smoke cold smoke let's give you some more information so there's just a lot of stuff here that you can just kind of go through on your own and, and, and look at it all I mean this this thing really does a lot here I grill too so anyway we just hit our temperature and look it's going off saying our food is ready that's great and let's go ahead and let's check in here we'll hit share we'll share this um share it on facebook okay we have to probe into the list of friends okay that's fine and we're gonna go ahead and uh post publicly say hey you know here we are um uh, how do you do? Check out what I've been cooking on the eye grill. All right, the camera. We're gonna just say uh, we're doing some testing here. So that's pretty neat. Take a picture. Use this photo. Okay. And uh, let's see. That's what we're gonna use. We'll hit share up here at the top, and there it goes sharing so now let's go pop that chicken out the oven okay so just got the beautiful bird out look at that wow nice slippery chicken oh that mango habanero rub on there and this eye grill did wonderful I'll tell you what this eye grill too i'm liking it i really am y'all you gotta try it